Hey guys, and welcome to the Lit Loft. My name is Danny. Hi, my name is Rich. And today we're going to have a look at whether you can sound like Brian May using any guitar. Yeah. So uh, it's quite a feat, to be honest. Actually, when you think about it, to kind of you know, I haven't got a Rhodes Special knocking around. No. Uh, but what we do have um, there's a few guitars. I've got the Tele here. Um, an SG style uh, guitar here, uh, sort of two humbucker scenario. Yep. I've got a bit of a high gain shredder guitar, you know, from yeah. Ibanez and RG, and a good old standard strap. Yeah. So we thought that covers most bases of you should have hopefully something that's similar to one of these guitars. Yeah. Um, and you know, we, we play Queen songs and cover bands, function bands, and mm. it's such an iconic sound. Like yeah. Even people who don't play guitar know that sound because of the film, yeah. um, and just being such a you know an iconic figure, an iconic sound that it's quite a it's quite a feat to get that sound without a red special. And not yes, many people yeah. have a red special if they don't play in a Queen tribute band or if they're mm. you know a super fan. So we thought it'd be a cool idea to have a look at you know which pickup configurations, you know, how to get the closest sound yeah. using these four guitars. So what we come up with, um, we did a bit of, uh, you know, playing around and experimentation, but we kind of boiled it down to try and make it as simple as possible and it's, you know, accessible really for everyone who wants to play Queen songs in their band. Um, by the way, we love the film. Go see it if you haven't, it's great. Uh, so we've basically got sort of three pedals. Uh, we've got a chorus pedal, um, we've got uh, like a treble booster style pedal, um, which that's is key for his sound. Yeah, so that's that's a real uh, you know key piece that, um, and just a drive pedal really. Yeah, and then we've got a little tiny splash of delay. Yeah, and that's it. So it's really simple. So you may have you know a few of those pedals already, but um, anyway, yeah. we'll chuck them up on screen. You can see the pedals and how we've set them, but essentially that's how we've kind of dialed in this home. Yeah, and you don't need these pedals, just anything mm. along those ballparks. So there's loads of treble boosters out there. We love mm. the poker, we think it's absolutely yeah. awesome. Um, the cool thing about the TC Corona mini chorus is A, it's affordable, mm. um, but you can also do the tone print, which we've done. Yeah. Uh, so you can beam Brian May's uh, G-Sus system, his chorus that he actually used, yeah. uh, that tone print into the pedal, which yeah. is really cool. and. The key with that is just have a touch of it. You don't want to go too mad. No, with the it's, it's just just there. It's, it's, it's one of those things again, like um, you know, when you put something on that you only notice when it's not there. Yeah, kind it's, of, it's know, like a, a doubler or like a studio yeah. effect almost. But it's great. I mean, when you hear it, you're like, "That's Brian May." Yep. So. And yeah, tiny bit of delay. Any drive pedal that um, isn't too you know modern sounding. You know, any kind of yeah. overdrive rather than distortion. Good probably. transparent. You know, something that's going to sort of just. You know, allow the kind of that valve-driven, you know, um, distortion, yeah. really, isn't it? So yeah. Um, anyway, we'll um, basically going to play through a few riffs, um, and you can see how each uh, guitar sounds, uh, and we'll show you which sort of pickup um, we have sort of landed on to try and get the best out of each one. Yeah. And uh, yeah, let us know what you think, uh, which one's the best, and which you know what you got, and. Uh, yeah, it'd be quite interesting to see how they, you know what they sound like yeah. against each other, isn't it? No, definitely. Let's do it.
So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. A uh, little bit of Queen for you. But uh, more importantly, uh, how do you think uh, these uh, guitars did in getting close, I suppose, to the tone? Well, we've had a bit of a debate. I've, I think the Strat was the closest. That position for the mix of the middle and the bridge pickup on the Strat, I thought was the closest to the, the Brian May tone in my head anyway. Yeah, which probably does sort of make sense actually, because mine was the Ibanez, that was my choice. Um, but on the same principle really, kind of utilising that fourth position, yeah. uh, splitting the pickups. So. And on the telly, we actually used the neck pickup. Um, we found like the middle, because the middle position on the telly has got quite a lot of high end. It was and yeah. mixed with the treble boost, it was a little bit harsh bit hot, on the ears. Yeah. In, a, in, a, in a band situation, you might be alright, but mm. in the room, we used the neck pickup. And on the SG style guitar from Gordon Smith, uh, we used the middle position. So if you've got a double humbucker guitar, flick mm. it in the middle position, and you should get in that ballpark. Yeah. So anyway, let's know what you think. Uh, which was your favourite? What yeah. do yours say, your ears say? Even. Yeah. Write it in the comment below. Which was your favourite? What do you think got closest? And we'll see you again soon. Yeah. Take it easy, guys. Cheers. Cheers.